Every few days, it seems as if footballers, or for my American audience, soccer players, are in the headlines relating to criminal matters. I don't need to list the long line of Premier League players that have had their own fair share of incidents go down over these past couple of months alone, but it was only a few days ago we seen Man City star Phil Foden and his mother end up in the headlines after they were involved in a fight at the Amir Khan and Kell Brook fight. Today's story, however, is a bit more serious, to a point where it could have led to someone being stabbed to death. On the 12th of September 2019, former Cardiff City footballer Ibrahim Maiti had been driving his white Mercedes on a street in Putney, southwest London, when out of nowhere he spotted a man known as Rio Amos. You see, it's thought that the pair had been at loggerheads with each other because of an incident at a nightclub which involved a girl. This dispute, which happened at some point prior to the 12th was described as both men pushing and shoving each other but that's all we know we don't know any specifics other than it involved a girl so i'll let you decide what it more than likely was about back to the 12th then and ibrahim along with passenger leon hughes had just spotted rio walking along the street in putney when out of nowhere he jumped out of the car armed with a knife ready to stab him cctv footage that hasn't been released to the public describes what happens next both ibrahim and leon jump out of the car and engage in a conversation with rio all while the three are jolting forwards and backwards. It's then Ibrahim manages to get behind Rio as his attention is split between the pair. Once behind, he catches him off guard, lunges towards him and stabs him in the back. The pair then start to make off but Ibrahim falls. Rio by this point is chasing them with a larger knife and once Ibrahim falls to the ground, Rio subjects him to a brutal knife attack, stabbing him a number of times. The pair eventually ended up in the same hospital although reports don't make it clear if they were taken there by paramedics. Both men would go on to survive the attack but Ibrahim, although jumping out and attacking first, had ended up with worse injuries. He'd been stabbed in the chest, wrist, thumb and thigh. All three would go on to be arrested and charged in connection with the incident but all denied the charges that were brought against them so they went on trial. Now some of you might be wondering why was Rio even charged with anything as surely he was just defending himself. Well the prosecution said because Ibrahim had managed to get away and he was no immediate threat anymore, Rio should have just left at that point. Instead he became the hunter and decided himself to subject Ibrahim to an attack. When Ibrahim was asked his version of events in court, he said in a nutshell that he wasn't armed with a knife, he was armed with a key. He was 100% certain of that, adding it wasn't premeditated, rather a random encounter and he only wanted to punch him. After a trial at Kingston Crown Court however, Ibrahim was found guilty on wounding with intent, an alternative charge of unlawful wounding and possession of a knife. Leon was found guilty of unlawful wounding and was found not guilty of wounding with intent, possession of a knife, or intending to pervert the course of justice. That last charge was due to the prosecution saying that he lied to police about what had happened. Rio, believe it or not, was found not guilty on the charge of wounding with intent, and a verdict wasn't reached on the unlawful wounding charge, which led the jury to being discharged. So as you can see, this story is definitely on the more serious side of things when it comes to footballers getting into certain criminal incidents. Of course, there has been many very serious ones, this one included. Let's be real, Ibrahim could have definitely gone on to kill Rio, but the same goes the other way around as well. If anything, Ibrahim dying could have been a huge possibility. He was hit quite a few times with a big knife. Ibrahim, although not some global superstar, wasn't a nobody either. Believe it or not, in 2018, he'd been wanted by a few clubs across Europe, including Premier League side Watford. Also, in the year after Leicester City had won the Premier League, so they would have been current champions at this point, Ibrahim also had trials with them. So as you can see, he's been around the block, he's been to a few clubs, he wasn't just a nobody. The guy literally has a FIFA card. So for him to be getting caught up in a situation like this is pretty wild. He hasn't been sentenced as of yet though, and we don't actually have a date. All reports say is that it's at a later date. When I do get an update, I will keep you guys posted on this one. It'll more than likely be on my Instagram, which will be linked down in the description below. For now though, give the video a like for more crime related content like this, and make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't. It's been me, Ape Honcho, and I'll see you in the next one.